All right, guys, so today I'm going to show you five quick tips to help you with editing your drone videos. So let's get into the video. All right, guys, Neil from Neil Collins Recording. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back to my channel if you're not. Either way, appreciate you tuning in, watching my videos. Um, using the new Boyer PM500 today for this tutorial. Did a tutorial on it here couple of tutorials ago I think. So today I'm going to just show you five really quick tips to help you with editing your drone videos. I think it's going to be useful to some of you. Um, some of them you may know, some of you may not. They're all fairly simple. I'm going to be using Premiere Pro but you'll be able to do these in any editing software so they're just really simple tips that you can use with your drone footage to get some nice looking videos. So let's jump straight in. So I've got this sample video here um, it's just a boat, New Haven Harbour, filmed this a couple of years ago with the Phantom 4 Pro, DJI Phantom 4 Pro. Now with drones the horizon can sometimes go a bit off, I'm just going to show you how to correct the horizon, straighten it up if it's a bit wonky. So you'll go into your effect controls, so you want to go down to rotation and then you just want to rotate it only by about 2 degrees I think. So two degrees, is that straight? I think that's straight, maybe one. That looks straight to me. Okay, now what you'll notice is around the edges, because you've turned the picture, you're gonna get some black bits around the edges now. So you're gonna to need to scale in a little bit. So just scale in, let's try 103. And that seems to have got rid of all the black edges. Yeah, I don't think that is straight. Let's try two. That's straight. I'm going to try minus two. I think that might be straight then. So 105, still some black bits around the edge. 106, they're all gone. Uh, that looks straight to me. Yeah, it's just a really simple way of straightening up the composition. You don't want it wonky. It's not a good start. Um, don't worry about cropping in. Even if you're using HD and you crop into sort of 106, it's not going to make a great deal of difference to the resolution. No one's going to notice, so don't worry about cropping in. If you're in 4K, it doesn't matter too much anyway, which leads me to my next tip, which is scale. So we've got our footage here. It looks okay. If you've shot in 4K, what you might want to try is just scaling in 200%. For me, this image here isn't as interesting as this image here because we have the boat now. We can see the boat with much more clarity. If you're shooting in 4K and you're exporting full HD, you can crop in up to 200% and you're not really going to lose any quality in the resolution. Let's just zoom out a little bit to say 180. I like that because now we've got a little bit of the sky in there as well, a little bit more of the sky. So that's my second tip is don't be afraid to scale in. Maybe try 150 then 200, something in between and just see which one looks best. But yeah, don't be afraid to scale in, especially if you're shooting in 4K, which most drones do these days. Then you've got that little bit extra to play with if you're going to export in full HD. So that's tip number two. Now tip number three is a good one. This one's a bit more complex. This one I'm going to show you on Premiere Pro, but it might be slightly different in other editing software. I'm not really sure um, because it's all to do with keying, but you should be able to do a similar thing in whichever software you're editing in. What we're going to do is we are going to find a bit of our clip where the boat is in the best position. So I would say about there so it's just off center I like that and then what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the clip and then we are going for the top layer we're just going to take it down to that sort of one frame we're going to zoom in we're going to hit R and we are going to drag it all the way from one side to the other side. Now we have that one section, section of the clip across the whole of the clip on top of the clip. Now what we want to do is we want to go to the opacity 
of the top clip and go to about 30%. Okay, this is where we start to do a bit of keying. So go to the bottom clip, click on the bottom clip, and if we drag our cursor backwards to the start. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to line the boat up in the bottom clip to the boat up in the top clip. So we're going to click on our key, click on our keyframe, and we're going to move the boat to where it is on the top, and then we're just going to move across. And you see it's gone out a bit again, so we'll put another keyframe here. We'll move the boat back to where it's in line with the other boat. And again, we'll move a bit along again. And it's going off a bit again there, so we again, we'll bring the boat back so it's in line. Okay, we'll go a bit further forward. And as you can see there, it goes out a bit. So put another keyframe in there, bring it back. And it's gone right out again there, so we'll bring it back again. And again. And again. And again. And again. And that's it. And now what you do is you'll get rid of the top layer. So if we just turn the top layer off. And now the boat should pretty much be in the same position all the way across the clip. So let's just have a watch it back. Really cool. See, the boat doesn't really move. So it becomes the focus of the image. Whereas the boat was moving across screen before. And now it's pretty much in the same position all the way through. I really love this one, I use it quite a lot. It's great for moving cars and things like that, just to really concentrate your eyes on that image and it, it just doesn't move, it just looks really slick. So I'm pleased to share that one with you. I learned it off someone else on YouTube, so I'm just sharing the love. Right, so that's tip number three, okay. Tip number four is a bit of speed ramping. And uh, we're gonna get rid of this clip for now and we're gonna bring in another clip. Okay, so we've got this New Haven lighthouse. So, yeah, we're just circling around the lighthouse in the drone, with the drone. This was the Phantom 4 Pro again. Um, we're just gonna do a bit of speed ramping. So we'll start off slow. When we get to about there, we're just gonna put a cut. Now you can do speed ramping in a number of different ways, but this is how I like to do it. This is the way it always works for me, so. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a cut there. Then I'm going to right click on the clip i'm going to go to speed duration speed it up i don't know 500 then i'm going to go to the bit where i want to slow it down again so say there and then i'm going to put another cut there i'm going to right click on that on this clip at the end and i'm going to go to speed and i'm going to take it right back to 100 Okay, and then you get starting off slow, and then it'll ramp up, and back to slow again. And that's how I do my speed ramps. Like I say, there's loads of different ways to do it. You can do it by keying it in the actual effects tab, but this is the way I like to do it. It's nice and simple. Because this is shot in 60 frames per second, I can even slow this last one down. So I can even slow that down to, say, 40. And then it goes from normal speed to fast, and then to slow. So that's quite nice. So that's how you do speed ramping. If you didn't know already, that's how you do a speed ramp. Well, that's how I do a speed ramp, and that's how you can do a speed ramp. But there are other ways that you can do speed ramping, but this is how I do it. Okay, and then the last tip I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna nest this clip. So it's the bonus section for you, how to nest clips. So just choose all the clips, right click, and then go to nest. Okay, and then that just becomes one clip. So, where it was three clips before, now it's all comped together as one clip. So that's how you nest the clip. That's a bonus for you, you can have that one for free. So I'm just gonna show you how to do a digital zoom. 
Okay, so I'm scaled all the way out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a keyframe and I'm going to go scaling 200. So I've zoomed right into the lighthouse as far as I can go without losing any of the resolution. Okay, and then I'm going to go right up to where I turn. So here I'm going to want to be scaled right back out to 100. So I'm going to put another keyframe at 100. And then, as you'll see, it will just zoom out. What you really want to do is match the digital zoom out with the speed ramps we've just done. But for the purpose of this, you can see how it would work anyway. So that's how you do a digital zoom out. So that's it for this video. Five quick tips to help you edit your drone videos. So I really hope you found it useful. Even if you find one of them useful, then it's worth doing. If you have enjoyed the video, found it useful, please do give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of the new mic as well. What you think of the audio quality compared to what it was before. Be interested to know. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell so I can let you know when new content is released. Releasing content on a Monday and Thursday at the moment. Gear Tech tutorials, lots of reviews coming up. I'm still yet to release my drone LUT pack, but that is coming very soon. I'm just doing a final few things to get that ready. Uh, so yeah, lots coming up. So please do subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And I'll catch you in the next one.